Swifters, are you ready to get a green thumb in coding? Well, let's build the Word Garden app. In this chapter, we're going to be building an app called Word Garden. And the inspiration for this is the word game Hangman. Now, I always thought it was pretty gruesome, especially for young children, to send someone to the gallows for their poor spelling skills, especially because I am such a bad speller. So we have a replacement here. It's called Word Garden. We launch it with this cheery daisy icon. A mystery word shows up. You get one guess for each petal on the flower. And in this app, we'll learn several new techniques. This is our first app with a text field, so if I click in here, notice that the keyboard pops up. Also notice that there's a done button at the bottom of the keyboard. You can press this to accept the letter, which is the same as clicking on the guess a letter button. If you click backspace and there is no letter to guess, then you can't press done. Guess a letter also becomes disabled because you should have to enter a letter to offer a guess. But if you do press a key again and enter a letter, the done button and the guess a letter button become enabled. The keyboard defaults to uppercase and while you can turn the shift key off, if you type a lowercase letter, it's immediately converted to an uppercase letter. If you guess wrong, we get the very simple animation of a leaf turning brown. We hear it crumble and it disappears. Also notice if you click guess a letter or the done button, the keyboard dismisses before the animation happens. If you guess correct, we get a happy chime. You get eight wrong guesses. After that, all the leaves have fallen off the flower, you get a wilting animation, and you lose the game with a wilt whistle. A hidden play again button shows up. You can't enter another guess until you've selected play again. The game stats update up top. If you win the game, you get a ta-da! And you get a note if you guessed all the words, and you can restart from the beginning. It's a very basic app, but as our second multi-part app, it'll let us introduce lots of new topics, and you'll also gain basic knowledge so that you can expand and improve the app on the future on your own. Ready to build? Let's code!